Come on, I have to. I have to. For the video's sake. Come on. Twenty. Ten. Hey guys, this is Multi24 Gaming with Extreme Landings Pro, and today we will be doing our flight simulator walkthrough for the R-WB77, which is basically the Boeing 777. Of course, that's what the B-77 means. Regardless, that's what we're going to be doing. We have our plane here. It is absolutely amazing with the 1.3 update for Mac. Uh, it came about a couple weeks ago for me, so that's really good. I know a lot of you already have it, but here it is. It, it looks so great. It looks streamlined. It's our first airliner to have only two engines, um, but it looks it looks great. I love it. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go. We're gonna actually check the setup real quick. Fuel passengers. We want to have passengers, so we're gonna go to the flight simulator. Uh, I'm gonna reset this. Reset to zero, and I have to figure out where I feel like taking off and landing. I'm thinking perhaps somewhere in Canada or maybe from the United States to Canada or just like Chicago you know what why not Chicago hmm London I didn't know there was a place called London let's fly over Erie how about that we'll fly over Lake Erie from there to there I'm not sure if that's Canada I'm pretty sure it is yes yes it's Canada I apologize guys we're going to London Except the London and Canada. Because that makes complete sense. Alright, we're going to confirm that. Failure, we're going to set to high. So I can show you how to deal with certain situations that may occur with this plane. We want the passenger. We want the fuel to be, eh. Load, we want halfway. Passengers, you know, whatever. Good deal. We want to, let's see, get the weather to be random or real situation, I suppose. And let's take off. All right, so we are in our Boeing 777, and um, if I'm wrong about that, this might not be the Boeing 777, and I'm just an ignorant, ignorant fool, so please let me know. Um, yell at me in the comments for that. I love how you can look all the way around in this cockpit. It is amazing. We've got some nice lights up there for when we're flying during the night. Um, we've got our console here, with everything we really need. There's our two throttles we've only got two can switch to the engine and, like separately control them um... I'm gonna go back to basic fly here's our seat they look nice i'm just the interior makes you feel really at home um... so that's something that i find really important with this game and especially in an airplane oh, we're gonna take a look at the outside of this amazing airplane look at it we are ready to take off I love the lights and everything. This is on good graphic settings, which still appears to be the best. Though, um, I don't completely understand it. I'll email Rortus asking them if they understand it. There's our APU right there, auxiliary power unit. Keeps our plane going when the engines turn off. But this plane is going to have two faults, and we don't, or not two faults, but it's got two engines, and it's going to have probably around five faults, and we have to deal with them. Hopefully we can make it over the lake, and if not, there's not really anywhere to land, so we will go down in style. But, I suppose there's nothing left to do but to turn our fabulous engines on. Now, oh yes, you can zoom in in this. I love that so much. Alright, we're going to turn this engine on, and we're going to be right there to see it. Alright, engines. I'm going to remind myself of the controls, you and Jay. Alright, yes. Let's get this engine. That's uh, the wrong engine. Die. We weren't trying to turn you on. We were trying to turn you on. Oh, yes. Alright, now we can turn the other engine on. There we go. We have our engines all ready to go. That is a really nice view of our airplane. And I'm sort of prolonging takeoff because... I think this plane is absolutely amazing. I love the way it looks. I'm really trying hard to zoom in and out on my Mac. It's a little difficult. I would really like to get a cool thumbnail. That might have to be it. We will have to see. Just gonna give another good look at our airplane before we take off. And then there's nothing left to do but to full throttle it. So, 
Let's go. Master throttle fully up. Let's hope we don't explode. As you can see, we're increasing in knots fairly quickly. In our cockpit now. I love how you can look all the way back, but now I can't get... No! I can't change the view. Ah! Don't worry. We're okay. The double-clicking view-changing technique was not working. It's still not working. There. Alright, I'm not going to mess with that for a little bit. Flaps halfway down. Of course, I forgot that. Oh, oh, the plane's begging to take off now. Okay. Flaps did the job there. Gear up. Flaps up. We can watch those that gear go up. That looks spectacular. Can't say enough good things about the way this plane looks and feels. But we must alter our course to go over the lake. We're not supposed to know that we have all these faults, but I do since I set the failure to average. But as a wise person told me during one of my live streams, fly up while you have power so you can glide when you don't. Here's our first alarm. No reverse thrusters. We're not trying to go in reverse, so we're going to be okay for right now. We're going to go into our autopilot, and I'll show you guys how to set this up. Basically, you're going to set your... Sp you're not going to really set your speed, because you've already got the math master throttle all the way up. What we do want to set is our course. 324. As you can see, we want it to mirror this. You click it, tap it to make it light up. And, of course, yeah. So... We want to, this is our altitude, so we want to set our altitude pretty high up. Because when we have issues, we want to actually be able to glide down. So I'm going to actually set it up to 36,000 feet, something like that. This is how, like, fast we're increasing. Like, how do I say this? Um, how many feet you go in a second when it comes to going up. So, like, how steep, basically. Uh, so we want to be careful with that. Okay. Our plane is flying into the sunset away from the depths of what the airport and land there is our plane I really want to figure out what the thumbnail is gonna be this just looks too good there we are there's our plane the Boeing 777 I really hope that's right all right we're going to go to our map and hit time, and it's going to speed stuff up. We've got to be very careful that as soon as we hear the alarm, we're going to hit time because we don't know what it might be. At quick time, um, an engine can blow up in a split second. You need to be ready. Doesn't appear. Oh, there we go. All right, so the speed. We no longer know our speed. That's okay. Uh, ASY? Okay, that is fuel. ASY is fuel. Let's take a look. Okay, so we have a leak on this side, it appears. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move all our fuel over here because there's no way to stop a leak in this game. Let's see, what's our altitude? Ah, we're still increasing. Wow. Alright, we can actually just keep it where it is. The plane's getting even out. Uh, there's not really much to do. I've already filled this thing up as much as I can. We just ought to click this button. It's W for me. And that's going to get rid of, um... It's going to get rid of all the fuel on that side. No need to have extra weight. Especially if it's all just going to leak by itself. Alright, the rest will leak out by itself. It'll be okay. Alright. We're coming on to land, um, so that's notable. You should probably be aware of that. Um, ooh, it's purple. That's cool. I'm just going to adjust this. I always have to have open possibilities for thumbnails. Cause I, okay, left tank, so it's empty now. All right, we're good. Because I always want to... Um, all right, yeah. No need to have this engine on now because there's no fuel to it, so we might as well turn it off entirely. Of course, we don't have we're, we have no need of reverse thrusters right now. I'm gonna turn our altitude adjuster off and our court. Well, yeah, we'll be fine. That automatically turns on when you hit time. All right, we're gonna give this a go. We will be going slower, but hopefully we don't stall. 
Alright, we're coming up on Canadian London. Getting closer, getting closer, getting closer, getting closer. Alright. Canadian London is right down there. Ooh, I forgot to adjust. Stop that. Alright, so. Let's think about this. Ooh, that's our air brake. Very nice, very nice. That looks very cool. Alright, so. This is basically the type of plane I've flown in. Um, in my experience. Two engine. Uh, airliner. So I think we're going to aim for this airfield right there, or airport, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm thinking about speed here and distance. I think we actually might spin around. Okay, I can't turn in this direction very well. That's going to be a problem. I'm going to attempt to turn on the APU, which is the auxiliary power unit. I'm sorry if I'm going fast for you, but you got to be fast in this. Uh, the auxiliary power unit, what it does is it gives you more control over the plane when you don't have any, uh, when you don't have any, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. When you don't have any engines, that's basically what it is. It does not help flats not working, though. Alright. We're going down. Now, like I said, everyone's going to be like, oh, you're decreasing altitude too fast. You're, like, going to kill everybody on board. Everyone's going to be uh, unconscious. Well, yeah, th they might be unconscious, but if you think about it, we're saving their lives. We're landing this plane before it blows up. It's called Extreme Landings. I must put that disclaimer in every video. That is what Extreme Landings is all about. Alright, so, we're probably going slow enough, um, I'm tempted to put the gear down, I'm going to, as soon as we slow down fast enough, flaps are fully down, we have no reverse thrusters, so we need to hit the ground at the slowest, how are we not going 290? I'm just really hoping right now that the airfield is, there it is, okay, we'll be good. Gear is coming down now, and we are beginning to lag, I wonder what that means. Alright, guys, this is the unseen challenge. I must reach for my charger. Yes, the charger's in. Oh, that lit stuff up for me, at least. Alright, left tank is the problem at the current moment. Alright, we are in the cockpit. We will do this, guys. We will land this plane, even though we are facing lag. Oh, there's no engine running. <laughs> That's okay. Alright, don't call me a retard plane. That'd be fully appreciated. Okay. Oh, this is hard. There's crosswind. Oh, there's crosswind. Alright. Oh, dang. Alright. We're gonna land this sucker. We're gonna land it. Come on, I have to. I have to. For the video's sake. Come on. No, oh, we lost it now sitting here and editing the video i realized that the gear was not down look at this so what we had was one side of the fuel there's the two tanks on either side and the tank that had all the fuel was on the same side as a gear that wasn't down just like, look at this. This is exactly what I'm talking about. That is how we died. I did not even notice that a gear was down wrong. So, that can sort of make, make it makes a little more sense what happened now. And anyway, we'll get back to the video. I will make a successful landing, as you will now see. Sorry, guys. All right, guys. So, I managed to readjust myself, um, but I'm in a rather intense situation as it is right now. Flaps are going all the way down. Gear has yet to... Now, I did have to reset and just cut straight to the landing as I did do a bit of a 40. smash down. 30. But it's going to be okay because we're going to land here. All right, retard. here we go. Oh, there he called me a retard. Okay, we're stopping the plane. We have no reverse thrusters. And, oh, we got to turn the plane. All right, now we can go down here. 
but I am impressed that the plane actually stopped that quickly. Wow! That is a serious air brake. That's insane. Well then, guys, we managed to land it. Stressful as it was, we landed it. The second time, that is, but it's okay. Anyway, you guys will be seeing a Five Faults landing video from me very soon with this plane. And I uh, definitely plan to bring you the, uh, what it, was it, Boeing 747 in the near future. But other than that, thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this Extreme Landings video. And I will see you for my next video, hopefully, if you enjoyed it. And I'm just rambling off now. So, please, admire the plane for five more seconds. I'll time it. Okay, we're done. Bye, guys.